Do you ever feel like you're chasing after some elusive, earth-shattering spiritual experience in order to achieve enlightenment? That you're not good enough or awake enough unless you've had these exotic experiences. If so, you're not alone. And today we'll dive into the true nature of awakening and reveal why enlightenment is not about seeking these exotic experiences at all. Hi, I'm Jamie and I run the Yogi Tradition, which is a school for higher experiential learning and spiritual development. We've helped hundreds of aspirants over the years find clarity in themselves by giving them the proven tools and structure to create a deep connection with life and abide in a deep sense of fulfillment. And if you want to see how exactly we do that and you can do that too, then you can access our free training series down below. See, the spiritual journey is often misunderstood as a quest for mind-blowing otherworldly experiences that will catapult us into a state of permanent enlightenment. We meditate, we attend retreats, and we consume endless spiritual books and teachings and watch all of the videos on YouTube in the hopes of triggering that one transformative moment, that one transformative event. But is this really what a true awakening is all about. Well, no. As we chase after these extraordinary experiences, we can fall into many traps. We become trapped in our own minds, don't we? Constantly seeking the next spiritual high, always feeling like we're missing something. And the more we seem to strive for these experiences, the more inadequate we feel without them. This never-ending pursuit can leave us feeling stuck, unfulfilled, and disconnected from our true nature and our true selves. But what if I told you that this isn't the path to true awakening at all? Awakening or enlightenment is really about shedding what we're not in order to experience what we truly are, our true nature, truth. But see, that in itself can be an excuse not to do the work, can't it? Because if I'm already my true nature, which we all are undeniably, then why bother with anything spiritual, right? Wrong. Just because yoga or union is a fact of life doesn't mean it's our reality. If our cells don't agree, then all we've done is get it intellectually. And then all you'll have is a thinking awakening or an intellectual awakening. But for true transformation to occur, we must viscerally experience our true nature. And for most, this requires somebody on the outside who's maybe done a little bit more work than them to slowly pull you deeper into yourself and call you out on all the BS that keeps you separate from yourself. And this is why we have the methodology of yoga, to shed us of that which keeps us separate from feeling the truth of life as a lived experience. Now, you may have spontaneously dipped in and out of this connected feeling, but it won't be permanent unless we do the work. And that's what we're here for. We're here for those who have the humility to recognize, actually, I don't think I can do this on my own. I don't know what I'm doing. None of the greats, by the way, did this journey on their own. They all had a teacher, somebody who had gone just a little bit further than them. But this work takes time, doesn't it? And our current society, really worryingly actually, always wants the instant fix. They want a liposuction enlightenment or a liposuction awakening, a done for you package, but this weak mental fortitude of character is a big problem in the world and it just doesn't wash on this path. The truth is, true awakening isn't about chasing after exotic experiences or trying to attain some mystical state. They're always impermanent and you always come back down to earth afterwards, which is why it's important to take a slower, more gradual, deepening, over time approach to your path. And if you want a community of like-minded individuals who are doing the work with you, then you can sign up for our free app undercover yogi here you can gain access to free sadhana and free weekly live streams on fridays to support you and of course a community see a true awakening is about feeling 
It's about feeling the profound beauty and connection with all things. It's got nothing to do with the mind. It, it's about bringing the divine into the mundane, recognizing that our true nature is already perfect, whole and complete, just as we are, paradoxically requires some work for ourselves to agree so that we can feel it rather than just think about it. See, there's nothing to actually fix and certainly nothing to solve with the mind. And all there is to do is release that which holds us in separation but for that we need the process and the methodology of yoga. See, by releasing the need to chase after spiritual experiences, we open ourselves up to a deeper and more authentic connection with ourselves and the world around us now. And we get the benefit of removing at least one more layer of that onion. That separate one that thinks it will be more of itself by having an exotic experience. It's just not true. Any state that you get blasted off into will be temporary and you'll have to come back. But without the proper preparatory work, when you come back, you'll come back to ungroundedness. And this is not what we want. So how can we shift our focus then from getting high spiritually or wanting the next exotic experience to actually cultivating a true deep and lasting awakening from within well it starts with sadhana this is your daily spiritual practice to bring about the highest aliveness and intensity of your energies this creates heat in the system Heat, as you'll know, transforms all elements. I mean, look at what it does to water and ice. It changes their state completely and in an irreversible way until you use cold to put it back the way that it was. In a similar way though, yogic heat in the system burns out our impurities, our separateness. This is, at least in the first stages, the work that needs to be done so that we can more consistently feel more connected to ourselves and start living a life that sets our soul on fire. So if it's not an exotic experience that we're looking for then, well, what structure or what really am I looking for? At least what path or practices should we follow for our spiritual development? Well, we can show you the path, the exact path and the practices that it takes. And we do that in this video here. You can watch it. It's called the eight stages to enlightenment.